We've had some crazy things fill in for whatever the creature's supposed to be. You know, sticks, tennis balls, dots, numbers. You know, it's different every time. Uh, we have to be quite careful, though, because sometimes it gets a bit absurd and then you just start laughing and you can't really take it seriously. Action. It's, it's quite a weird concert, really, just to kind of react to something that's just not there at all. Um, especially when it's quite a, quite an animated kind of thing, like Dobby. I'm, I'm Jason. Uh, well, you need to move to your left a little. OK. Blocking yeah. Dobby. Oh. Like I'm talking about. Yeah, I know what you're saying. here, but we... I know what you're saying. Okay. They've really changed the way they do that now. They've got these doubles to stand in for, for these creatures and, and do the lines, so you're actually, you're actually talking to a person. I've had to supply some people today to uh, to kind of be doubles stroke stand-ins for Dobby and Creature, uh, which is quite interesting. Just come over here. I just want to try um, anti gravity you want to come. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because of course also we've got not only the short actor in there, we've also got somebody else providing the voice of the character, so they're working as a team. Ah! 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 Dobby? I enjoy playing Dobby. That said, I never really take full credit for the character since it's a large part of its character comes from its movement, which I can only suggest and they can realise. When I did it in the second film, it was very much me in a sound studio working with the film that had already been shot with a ping pong ball on a stick, which was going to be me, and offering up suggestions, you know, how he might move, how Dobby might move. Whereas this time, Diane, my collaborator, comes on, she's closer to the size of Dobby. So she then gives a scale to, to what I've suggested and proposed. I'm Dobby, it's all the moves, isn't it? He's a creature, but I'm better. Because I'm younger. He's the nicer one. Yeah, you're the horrible one. I'm the grumpy, old, He's miserable one, isn't geek. That's grumpy me. Old. Oh, yeah, we're really enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah really we are. We're really brilliant. Yeah. Oh. It allows David Yates to sort of direct the whole scene with all the integral parts. Yeah, you're right. And you want me to notate this in my head? Take a little moment just to re retain what he's saying. In the past, you would shoot the stuff with, with nothing in there, and it's harder to perhaps get sort of real interactions between the live action performers and the 3D characters and create a, an electricity between the two elements. Do you need me to vocalize at all? Now that the performers act in the scene, I think you get a, a far more vibrant exchange from the live-action actors and, and gives you a more potent sequence. Who was it, Creature? Mandungus. Mandungus Fletcher. If you can have another actor on set to interact with, I mean, it, it helps your performance no end. And, you know, hopefully when the audience sits down to watch the film, it will be a seamless character interacting with the actors and prove to be very realistic. Uh, Harry Potter. Uh, 